In this video, we show the Electronic System Level, or ESL, design flow from Agilent, the fastest way to design and validate challenging physical layer communication systems where baseband and RF must work together. This diagram illustrates a typical ESL design flow. Most baseband and RF groups iterate their design separately. Using Agilent System View, the entire system can now be validated at an early stage and then co-verified at each step in the process reducing design time and verification effort. System View is Agilent's primary EDA environment for system level design and verification. Let's take a look at how it addresses each part of the design flow, starting with the top level system architecture. Here is a typical end-to-end -end communication system consisting of both baseband and RF blocks. The System View data flow simulator is used to explore which algorithms, component specs, and environmental conditions have an impact on system level performance such as bit error rate and error vector magnitude. Several tools and templates assist the design process such as the digital filter tool. Simply place a filter component on the schematic and double click to configure floating point and finite precision filters for your application. Let's take a closer look at algorithm development and baseband physical layer modeling. System View is a multi-language environment with an easy graphical interface that supports model polymorphism. So algorithms can be modeled using built-in graphical models, M code, C++, and even fixed point HDL. When it's time to move toward implementation, System View exports to embedded DSP and high-level synthesis tools through C++ code generation. System View also generates transportable vendor-neutral HDL and Verilog for rapid FPGA prototyping. System View also connects to enterprise ASIC and wireless SOC environments to enable verification against RF and standards references. In this way, System View complements existing enterprise design flows and gives early system level validation before critical tapeouts. Now let's look at RF system architecture. The Spectrasys simulation engine is used to explore RF system architectures accounting for important RF effects such as mismatch, isolation, and nonlinearities. <laughs> 